So I will consider uh, now uh, the slider crank mechanism and uh, I will do more or less the same that it is okay I will assume that okay this uh, mechanism is subjected to a certain uh, external law or force P and uh, I want to uh, to, to calculate the, the torque which will be applied on the input link in order to, to, to balance uh, the, the, the external load P. The slider crank will be subjected to a force and at the same time you need to assign a, a certain position for the mechanism. To assign that position for the mechanism, you need to give an input energy in this one or in here, it will be an input torque. So you need to calculate what will be the input torque to give a certain position while the slider crank mechanism is subjected to a, an external force. Okay, And here, uh, also, what we will uh, need, we will need the same uh, to do, uh, and this is what we will assume that we have done the force analysis before. So I will consider that the angles, uh, okay, the input torque, this is what you want to assign. So this is, uh, it is given, okay, uh, yes. And okay, I need So this is the uh, input one. Also, we have uh, solved, uh, for example, with the same Excel sheet, the uh, force analysis problem. So uh, we know the angle uh, theta three. This is also known. And this is uh, okay here. Okay, and this is theta three. This is uh, phi three. Okay, I will use the same thing. And of course, we know all uh, the dimensions of the bars. We know R two and we know uh, R three. I don't need to mention them here. Now, we have just calculated the unknowns. And we have said that the unknowns are the reactions plus uh, the number of mobility. The reactions, we have counted them, and they are seven. We have uh, three uh, revolute joints. For each revolute joint, I need, uh, there will be two reactions. So I will have six reactions from joints. I will have one reaction in the slider and I will have, uh, so this is seven reactions, six from the pin joints and one from uh, the, pris not the slider actually, from the prismatic joint. So the reactions comes from the joints, not from the links. The slider is the link. So uh, the one reaction it will come from the prismatic joint, uh, from the contact between the slider and the ground. This is the, the reactions. And so if I have seven reactions, I will add one uh, the moment. So in all, I will have eight unknowns for the force analysis problem. So I need to write 
eight equations. The eight equations, what are they? From this slider, you have here two bars, and for each bar, you can write three equations. And we have one slider. The slider is considered as a particle. A particle, I will not write the moment equation. I will write only the force equation. So here, it will be the equation for the slider. So it will be uh, two equation plus the six fold from the bars. It, it will be uh, the eight equation that I need. It is as simple as that. So first, I will have seven reactions, which are uh, okay. I have three uh, pin joints, and I can I have two reactions per pin joint for each pin joint plus I will have one prismatic joint and for each prismatic joint I have one reaction for each prismatic or translating joint so I have three times two Three times two plus one times one. And this is the seven reaction. I will have eight in all. I will have uh, eight unknowns. It is uh, the seven reactions plus one, the mobility. Okay, for the slider rank, mobility is, is one. Now, for the equation, I will write also okay, eight equations. This equation comes from the bars. I will have three equations, three bars. No, I will have only two bars. And for each bar, I will have to write three equations per bar. Then I will have one slider and I can write okay two equations per slider. So I, I will have two times three plus one times two and this is equal to eight. And in, in all problems that we solve, we should have always uh, they will balance number of unknowns will be always the num the number of the number of equation except if we 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 use a friction and here it's it's assuming that is uh, the, the ground is frictionless if we use the friction we will have more reactions but we need to add the friction law uh, to solve but okay we simplify f for our uh, cases here and we solve without without friction. We assume that uh, all uh, prismatic joints are frictionless. Okay, as usual, first, okay, we will start by uh, doing the free body diagrams for all links. So what I will do is to uh, consider, for example, the slider alone to separate here I will I will uh, okay uh, I will take okay the load is on the slider so I will take it with the slide the load is here directly on the slider uh, I will take the link three uh, here okay uh, I will make it a little bit far I don't need the ground for the free body diagram so the angle will be here and uh, theta three and okay
and also I don't need the ground here uh, but theta 2 is for the link this one so I have now uh, separated all links here to see this one we need to, to think what are the joints here the reactions comes from the joints so uh, here Yes, I have the slider has a prismatic joint from the, uh, the with the ground, and this uh, prismatic joint block the, block the the vertical motion. So I will have something here, a vertical reaction from from the ground, a vertical reaction from the ground that blocks the vertical translation of the slider and I agree with this okay. this is the reaction because we have calculated this is the reaction that comes from the prismatic joint this is the reaction that comes from between the ground it is the force we can uh, write it F1 on 4 it is the force applied by the ground one on the link for the slider. Okay, I will write it here first C, simply C. Okay, simply C, but I will use equations to differentiate with from the points. Okay, so I will have the reaction here C. And of course it is a reaction and it is unknown. Okay, let's increase the size a little bit. The forces come from the from the joints. Ask yourself what are the joints? So the slider is connected to what? It is connected with the ground with what? With the prismatic joint, so I have one force. This is first. But but the slider is not only connected to the ground. It is also connected to the bar BC or link 3. And how? It is connected with a pin joint. That's why I kept it here, the, 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 the circle here, to show that there is a pin joint. And the pin joint is has two reactions. So here I need and I have two more reactions that comes from Okay, it is because the BC, but actually, what you need to ask yourself exactly what type of joint I have. So in C, I have here a pin or revolute or rotating joint, which blocks the two translation. So I will have to need two reactions. Okay, I will have to need two reactions. So this I have. The reaction from two reactions, not only one, from the pin joint here, these are uh, Cx and Cy. Okay, so I will have two different here. Why? Because uh, if you remember, mechanism is, is a loop closure, is closed loop. So each link is connected at least to two others. So here the slider is connected, yes, to the ground, but also to the bar BC. And for each connection, I have a different type of joint. So I need to consider what type of joint I have. So here I will have a reaction from, okay, here it will be the force 3 on 4, F3, 4 along X, and here it will be F1, 4. I can use F14, F34, but I prefer to use uh, CX and CY and so on. So here I will have CX. Okay, uh, CX, and of course I will have CY. So uh, this is it. I will make it a bit. And I will have uh, C 
will consider it uh, down. Uh, I will consider it down just to counter and balance. But it, it's not a problem. If we make any mistake on the direction of one, uh, it will be the result will be uh, negative. So this is not uh, a big uh, matter. The direction. So here it is C Y. Now, I, I want to differentiate a little bit this reaction that comes from the slider. So I will make it C dash. Just to, to, to emphasize that it is a different reaction. It's not here. What we have here from the prismatic, it's not the resulting of these two. It's a different one. I have, okay, I have a connection with the ground. I can even uh, denote it as N as the normal force from the ground. I can uh, make it F14. Here to differentiate it, I, I'm just denoting as, as C dash. C dash is the reaction of the ground. Uh, it is uh, the reaction or the force from the ground uh, on the slider. And of course, I will have the opposite force same C dash, but in the opposite, it will be down from the slider on the ground. But I'm not interested to, to, to make the free body diagram for, for the ground. OK, so here I have the complete free body diagram for the slider. Now, what about BC? Here, now, for C, I'll not take the three here and put them there. Why? Now, what are i need to ask myself okay what are the connections what are the joints i have a pin joint here the c it is between what between the bar bc and the slider and the corresponding reactions are cx and cy only c dash is only between the slider and the ground nothing related with the bc so i cannot transfer it c dash the bar BC. Here I, I consider so when when dealing with the reaction, focus on the connections, focus on the joints. Here I have a pin joint, the pin joint between three and four. I have already considered it here, so I will transfer them and I take the opposite one. So I will have to take CX and CY. That come from the, the pin joint and consider them consider the opposite one. Okay, so here I will uh, flip them so I will have the opposite direction. And these are CX and CY. So this is CX. And this is CY. Okay? And of course, I will have a pin joint which connects two to three. Uh, it is uh, BX and BY. I can choose any direction, but I will choose uh, the opposite as this one. So, so I will have here BX and B Y here. Okay. Now, of course, I will have the same, but in the opposite direction on the link two. So I will consider this one. Here it will be B Y and. BX, and I will have, of course, the reaction in, in A. So I will have here AX and AY. Okay. So here I have completed, I have completed the, the 
three body diagrams of all. The only difficulty is for the slider here. The only difficulty of slider uh, to deal with the two reactions. Sometimes a uh, student forget one of type, one of them. And the second difficulty is here. Sometimes uh, there is some student who transfer the, 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 these normal force to this uh, pin joint. It shouldn't. Why? Because this normal force is only between the ground and the, the slider, nothing related with the bar. So the, the one consideration that you need to keep in mind here is that reactions comes from joints. Reactions comes from joints. And it depends on the type of joint. OK, we will do as, uh, as previously. So I will uh, write the equation for each one. So here, uh, let's start the easiest one, the slider. Okay, then we will do for the two others. So we will consider the slider, then uh, the the bar BC or bar three. Okay, so we'll do one by one. We'll do one by one. Okay, and we'll uh, just in order to save a little bit some time, I will. Uh, start from some previous equation here. I will go this line. So, okay, ignore this line, okay? Ignore this line. Now, uh, we will write the forces equation along zero. So what I will have here, I will have, uh, it's, it's a very simple, I will have only Cx, okay? I don't have here the dx. I will have here cx minus p equals zero. And uh, it's even much easier. I will have simply cx equal p here. OK, uh, this is even much simpler than uh, the four. So this is, uh, OK, maybe to balance. You will always have this, uh, that four for the force analysis, the equation are uh, okay. Uh, are, are multiple? Are there is a bigger number? The the problem is larger, but but always it's much simpler to solve than uh, than the kinematic problem. For the equation along y, what I will have is only I will have uh, okay uh, maybe. Okay, uh, I will deal with this one. I will have, uh, yes, I will have C dash, but uh, it is unknown. And plus, uh, oh, it, is, uh, it is the opposite, okay. Uh, okay, I will correct it. I have plus C dash, the normal force from the ground, minus cy equal equal zero and uh, this is the second equation okay this is the second equation and they are uh, as simple as as that okay uh, now also to save time i will copy the equation uh, because they are little sim okay They are not exactly the same. We will check all the equation one by one. So it is the same. I will consider that phi 3 is 360 degree minus uh, theta 3, just to simplify. Now, uh, if I will write uh, the uh, the equation of force along x I will have here, uh, it is the opposite. I will have minus Cx plus uh, Bx equals 0. I will have Cy minus By equals 0. This is the same. 
and uh, I can write the moment equation uh, about B also to, to have just one equation in terms of of uh, one equation in terms of only uh, CX and CY to cancel the reaction in B and it will be uh, here it will be uh, minus CX because CX will will rotate uh, the bar BC around B in uh, the clockwise direction. So here it will be minus CX. Just I'm going a little bit fast so I copy the equation but I will have uh, the same one minus CX times uh, BC sine phi 3 it is this distance. This one. This distance is BC sine phi 3. And plus CY plus Y because CY it makes a BC rotating counterclockwise. It will be plus. So here I will have uh, more or less the same equation but simply uh, okay. Now here I will have the equation number three, equation number four, and the equation number five. Okay. Uh, this is it. Now also I will copy the same equation from the four bar analysis and I will modify them a little bit just I will check them in order to save time. Okay. And I will have the equation for the bar AB. The bar AB or link two. So I will have what? I will have also the opposite here. I will have minus BX plus AX. I will have uh, BY minus AY. And this will be equation 6 and equation 7. And the moment I will have here uh, BX makes the bar uh, A rotates uh, counterclockwise so it is plus by also so both they will be plus so I will have here plus and plus and this is equation number number eight and okay I did here the uh, all the equations all the equation I need to solve the problem I will collect them in just in one slide so uh, we know from where we can start uh, solving So I will copy the two first equation. Okay. I will have uh, the two equation from uh, the slider. Then uh, I will copy the three equation from three equation from uh, the second link I will have them here the, the bar uh, BC or link 3 they are here okay and now the equation that we just obtained from uh, the bar AB so equation 6 equation 7 and okay the equation 8 the moment equation on the bar AB so I have these eight equation eight unknowns uh, 1 CX and uh, it is also from three I will have okay from one I have already that CX equal P now from three I have CX equal BX so this one it is also it is also BX okay so I have already used three 
from 6, uh, it is also ix. So uh, cx equal bx equal uh, ax equal b. Now, uh, the only thing that I need to solve is, so I will uh, keep this one later, is to solve 5. So from 5, uh, I can, uh, okay, first move this to the right, and the minus will be plus. Then uh, I will divide by uh, R3, so this will simplify. And if, uh, okay, from the two signs I have R3, and if I will divide by cosine phi 3, I will have tan phi 3 here. So I will have that Cx is equal to, uh, Cy is equal to Cx tan phi 3, or also it is P tan phi 3. This is the solution for Cy. But Cy, uh, it is also C dash, okay? CY, it is also C dash from equation 2. It is also uh, BY from, uh, from equation 4. Okay. And it is also AY from equation 7. So it is also AY from equation 7. Uh, okay, now the moment, it's also the solution is quite simple, is simply uh, we move this to the left side with, with a minus, and a minus for both, for Bx and for uh, By. I can use this equation or uh, also I can substitute uh, the value for each one, so I will have bx is p, or uh, and uh, by is p and uh, by three, and it's done. It's uh, very simple. So solving is very simple, especially with with you have a mechanism with a limited number of links, like the slider crank, the four bar, the inverted, the scotch shock, which have a limited number of, of links. In that case, the solution is, is quite simple. Okay. So what we'll have is uh, the input, the three lengths of uh, uh, the, the bars, R1, R2, R3. I have the input angle theta 2, uh, in degree in radian, I have calculated solving uh, theta 3 in radian and degree, and I have R4. Okay, R4 here, I will not use it, I don't need it. But I will calculate, uh, okay, first, I need to give the uh, input force uh, in Newton. So let's say it is, uh, okay. 62 Newton. I will take it the same for uh, all, and uh, that's all. The position is known. This is all I need. It is uh, 60 Newton, 62 Newton applied directly on the slider. Uh, okay. What we need is to first calculate. Um, actually, ax, uh, bx. Uh, Cx and, and and that's all and they will be all in Newton and this is they are quite simple they are simply equal to the P so this will not uh, be affected and uh, I need uh, to calculate uh, Ay By uh, Cy and C dash C dash 
in Newton, C dash in Newton. And they are uh, P times 10, phi 3. Okay, I need to calculate then uh, phi 3 before. So I will calculate phi uh, 3 in radian. So it will be uh, 2 times phi minus uh, theta 3 in radian. Okay, this is it. I calculate this one. And Ay, all of them are just simply uh, P times tan phi uh, 3. All of these are, so it will be equal to, okay, so they will change a lot. And at the end, I will calculate the moment in, in Newton centimeter because I'm using the length as, the bar length as in centimeter. And this is, uh, will be uh, minus P times R2 sine theta 2 uh, minus P, uh, okay, let's do the first, minus P R2 sine theta 2 minus P times R2 times sine theta 2 minus Okay, P tan phi 3, R2, cosine theta 3, so minus. Uh, okay, uh, why I'm doing this one? I will take uh, P, uh, it is B, uh, BY, so it will be uh, minus, okay, I will do it, okay, no problem. Minus P tan, it's not tan, phi 3 times R2 and times cosine Theta two. Theta two. Uh, no, theta two in. Uh, yes. And here, yeah, I should consider here theta two in radian. So it is theta two in radian. It is F. This one. And it's done. So I will have uh, this Newton meter. Now I will switch it to uh, the moment in Newton meter instead of newton centimeter so i just need to divide by 100 i will have this one okay now i will also show you how this one will will vary with with theta 2 okay uh, insert Okay, the, the variation is less complex than previously. The four bar mechanism is a little bit more complex, but uh, at least here it's also, it's a huge variation. Uh, okay, uh, I dropped from 10 till minus 30, it's negative, and up to uh, here plus uh, 50. So uh, there is a huge variation of uh, of the amplitude and also uh, the sign. I'm switching from a part uh, that is a negative to part uh, and a positive. For the slider crank, and do this one we will work it on MATLAB, inshallah. So let's build this one together. Okay, I will do the same. I will start from uh, the equation of the slider crank and I will build the matrix. Uh, I will build the matrix and uh, maybe uh, in order to simplify a little bit, uh, just this one. Okay, here I will divide by sine phi 3 R3. So R3 here will, will, will move. Okay, so I can simplify by R3. And if I will divide by cosine theta 3, uh, phi 3, it will be tan phi 3 here. So this one, it will be only tan phi 3. So to have it a little bit simple. Uh, here, uh, I can divide by R2, but it's not. I will have something for the moment. Uh, okay, I will keep it as it is. 
Okay, I will keep it as it is. So, so I will do it again, but for now the slider crank, I will have uh, a matrix times vector and time is uh, which is equal to the right hand here which is uh, okay uh, yes another vector okay I finished the 8 by 8 matrix now I will do uh, the 8 by 1 uh, column Here, uh, the eight by one column, and okay. Now, I need to order the unknowns, uh, so I will have. Uh, I can do it as okay. I can make the moment the first, for example, just to to show you that it doesn't matter. Uh, then AX, I can make AX, then uh, BX, then CX, for example, then uh, I can make, uh, okay, what I will have, AY, then BY, then uh, CY and then uh, C dash okay and the right hand it will be I keep the same order of equations so if the, for the first equation I will have E then uh, second equation 0 uh, the third 0 the fourth I will have zero, the fifth zero, next zero, and zero, and zero for the last one. And now, take the first equation. The first equation I will have one CX, and that's all. Now CX is, is uh, number four. So I will go to the fourth column. So the fourth column corresponds to CX. I will have one. And everything else is zero. Okay, then uh, the second equation I will have C dash. So in front of C dash, there will be one and uh, minus, minus one in front of CY. Now C dash is the last column. So I will have here in the last column one. CY is uh, the seventh, so I will have minus one here. Okay, then uh, I will complete by zero. Okay, equation three, I will have minus CX plus BX. Plus BX, it means one for BX. We X, BX is the third one, so I will make one in the third column and minus CX CX is in the fourth column so I will have minus one in the fourth column and zero elsewhere okay let me remove this one I don't need them anymore I have used them uh, the equation number three okay now I will have equation four I will have CY minus BY. CY is CY is the uh, seventh, so I will make one in the seventh column. Minus BY. BY is the sixth, so I will have minus one in the column number six, and I will have zero. 
okay zero 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 and zero now uh, okay I will remove this one then then uh, I will have equation five equation five I will have plus CY plus CY and CY is number seven so here I will have plus CY so I will have one and minus CX tan phi three so this one it will be in front of CX with a negative uh, so uh, CX is number four so I will go to the column number four okay this one I will make here minus tan phi three Okay. And I will make zero elsewhere. Okay, and I have I'm done with this one. Okay, number six. Equation number six. So here, equation number six, I am in row number six. This one. Yes, okay, it's it's not easy, but this one it's row number six here I have minus bx okay bx is the third one so I will have in the third column minus one plus ax and ax is the second one so I will have one here it will be zero and zero else where Okay, uh, I'm done with this one. Now I have equation seven. So I am in the seventh row, seventh line. I have one by, and by is column number six. One by minus ay, and ay is column number five. Minus one. And I will complete the row with zero for the absent variables. And at last, the last equation, I will have one M. M is the first. And I will have in front of BX, R2 sine theta two, BX is number three. And I will have R2 cosine theta 2 in front of BY, and BY is number 6. BY is number 6, so it is this one. Okay, and I will complete with 0 for all other elements. Okay, and I am done here. This is the equation. And to solve, I need just to invert matrix. So I will just need to take the inversion of this matrix. So it will be this matrix minus one times. Okay, and we are going to write this matrix equation in a program in MATLAB. So first I need to define the matrix, then I will define the right hand vector. And then I will solve by inverting the matrix. And then what I will do is to, to take the element one by one. Okay. To, uh, okay. Show results, for example. Okay. This is what I need. These are the steps. We will see later that, okay, before calculating this one, we need to, to have some data some inputs okay and we need to add some data 
and also we will see I will not write it now we need to uh, uh, solve the kinematic problem here okay I will write first the matrix now I can name it as as uh, as I want I will make it for example the matrix uh, M a match okay just to show and to enter the matrix in my tab, I need to enter it, okay, row by row. Okay, I will make it row by row. So the first row that I will have for this matrix, I will have everything zero except the, the fourth element, which is one. So I will make this zero, first one second one so to keep it in the same row i will separate with comma to go to the next row to separate two different rows i will use semi comma so i will have here zeros i have said okay, that for the fourth column it is one then it is zero then it is zero then it is zero and then it is zero this is the first row I have eight elements all zero except the fourth one and I will make semicolon to say that okay I'm going to the next row okay I can make it a little bit clean uh, or uh, more readable to, to make them uh, one uh, uh, below the other but it's not important for MATLAB it's just to for you to, to be uh, prevent any mistake okay now I will go to the second row I will have everything zero except the two last one but it will be minus one and one okay minus one and one so it will be zero 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 and minus one and one and separate okay i will uh, even make them a little bit the space in between it doesn't matter if you make one space more than one space it doesn't matter I just i'm trying to keep the 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 columns it's just for the reader here for the one who is reading or making the program but for MATLAB it doesn't matter the important thing for MATLAB is to separate here with commas and uh, to separate two rows with semi -tall. now I will go to the next uh, row the third one third row I will have all uh, zeros except the third and fourth the third will be plus one the fourth will be minus one so it will be zero zero uh, the third will be one and minus one here and everything else is zero Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, I don't need it. I will keep it like this one until now. If I will need, I will do it later. Okay. Now, fourth equation. Fourth equation. Also, it is simple. I have everything zero except the number six minus one, number seven one. zero 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 and uh, okay uh, number six number six is minus one and number seven is one so okay, number six is minus one number seven is one and I will have zero here so I'm giving now the matrix equations 5 equation 5 again 
everything zero except for four I will have minus tan phi three and for seven I will have one so for seven I will have one and for fifth I will have minus tan phi three for uh, the fourth not fifth for the fourth I will have minus tan phi three so I will have zero 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 I will have here minus tan phi three okay this is the fourth one so I will keep the fourth one so I will in this one I will hold them And I will have zero, zero, and uh, I didn't remember which one. So minus for the seventh, yes, the seventh will be one. So this is equation five, uh, equation six. I will have 2, 1, and 3, minus 1, and all is 0. So, 0. Then, uh, which one is minus? Second is 1. And the third is minus 1. And everything else is 0. 0. Okay, now I'm almost done, it's still only two equation. Now the equation number seven. Uh, I have minus one in the fifth column and one in the sixth. So zero, 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 minus one and one and zero and zero so i am already in the seventh row which correspond to the seventh equation now i move to the eighth the last one i will have one r2 sine theta 2 r2 cosine theta 2 so i will have one in uh, the first r2 sine theta 2 in the third and r2 sine theta 2 in the sixth so I will have one then I will have zero so in the third it will be r2 times sine theta 2 okay uh, I need some to move this one To keep always the same column under and it is just for our visualization it doesn't matter for the MATLAB MATLAB understands only the separations with comma and semicolon so I will have R2 sine theta 2 for uh, number 6 number uh, the, the column number 3 0 0 and I will have also here r2 times cosine theta 2 okay okay so I need also here to move this one Okay, and I need to complete with zero and zero. Okay, the last one I can put the semicolon or not, doesn't matter. So I have defined it now the matrix. I have defined it the matrix. 
uh, okay uh, this is it now I need to define the right hand vector uh, okay I will make it uh, R vector the right hand vector now what I will have for the right hand vector it's much simpler I will have only P in the first one and zero elsewhere but it is a column so each each line is only one element so I will have P I separate all elements by semicolon to show that it is only one row for each one I can go back to the second line but I can only separate with semicolon it it will be fine for for MATLAB and here it's semicolon because I will go each time to the next row uh, how many elements I will have here one two three four five six seven eight it's fine I will have this one okay now as far that uh, we didn't do this one uh, we didn't solve it yet uh, now okay MATLAB does not know what is R2 does not know what is theta 2 and does not know what is phi 3 okay so we need and also it doesn't doesn't know what is P so uh, I will see uh, the data that we have solved last time okay this is what we have solved for the slider current. so let's consider what we have done, uh, considered we have considered that R2 is 50 centimeter I will use the same so in the data I need to define what is R2 first okay so it is 50 okay uh, MATLAB does not know uh, the units it's only for you so you need to keep in mind that R2 is in centimeter you cannot MATLAB uh, is blind regarding the units it's only knows uh, it only knows uh, n uh, numbers now we need uh, also uh, the input force P which will be here 62 Newton so here the input I will use also the same P which is 62 and it will be in Newton so I have defined R2 and P now I need to define what is theta 2 and what is phi 3 okay also here MATLAB works with in radian so I need to define it in radian uh, theta 2 is okay uh, it is the input of the slider crank uh, mechanism so it's given so here uh, okay let's start with with this uh, row and I will consider that theta 2 is 70 degree so theta 2 is 70 degree but I will move it in uh, radian so I will make it times pi and divided by 180 degree so this is in radian okay and I need phi phi 3 uh, as we have said it is it is phi 3 it is 360 degree but in radian it will be 2 times pi minus theta 3 but theta 3 also MATLAB has no idea what is it what about it and what is this what is this variable so we need to define what is theta 3 theta 3 is the solution of the position problem now I have two ideas either I take here directly the solution from here 
or I will resolve in MATLAB the kinematic problem. So first, in the first step, I will just take this one. I will take that uh, theta 3 is minus 0 0.28 radian. Then I will show you how to solve it also on MATLAB. So theta 3 using Excel was minus 0 0.28 radian. Okay, here it is radian. So this is R in green, R comments. It's for the reader, for the user. It's just to help you understand what is the program about and to interpret the results at the end. Now, as soon as I have defined uh, what is necessarily here, okay, now the MATLAB can calculate phi 3 and calculate, uh, the, it knows what is theta 2, R2, and P. So it, uh, the program can calculate the matrix and the, the right-hand vector. Now, once I have the matrix, I can calculate it, I will ask MATLAB to, to invert it. I will call it the inversion of, of MATLAB. So invmat, this is what I name it. You can give the name you want. But the command in MATLAB to use is inv. So I will ask him inv mat. So here the MATLAB will uh, MATLAB will invert the matrix. Later the solution, the vector, but in, in a vector form. It is just the inversion of the matrix, so invmat that I have already calculated, times the right hand vector. Now I have, with this, I will have all the solution in the same vector. Now I will run the pro program and show you. Okay, let's run it. Okay, what's going on? Yes, change folder. Now, if you see here, when he uh, sorts the double uh, greater symbol here, again, it means, okay, it's done. The MATLAB has already solved the, the problem, but it doesn't show. Why? Because we didn't ask him to do anything. Now here, if you, in the workspace here, it shows all the variable that MATLAB has already calculated. They're all here, but, okay, they are like invert matrix. It's a eight by eight matrix. MAT is eight by eight matrix. R2 is, okay, the value is 50, and he shows some values here, but, okay, it's not uh, readable for us. To know what he calculated, I will remove the semicolon, so it will show the result. So I will leave this, remove the semicolon here, the semicolon here, and the semicolon here. Okay, so what I will do is I will rerun it again. Now, everything are, are shown here now. There. So first, this is the matrix that we have entered. He calculated the matrix, the 8 by 8 matrix. It calculated the right-hand vector. And here he inverted the matrix. The inversion is here. And then calculated, he multiplied the two, the inverted matrix by the right hand vector, and we obtained the result here. Now, now all the results are in, in one vector. We need to, to know which one correspond to, to which reaction or which moment. And here we need to keep to show the result or, so I will tell him, I will follow exactly what we have built together. 
that the first element of this vector is m. Then it is ax, then it is bx, and then it is cx, and so on. So I will tell him that the first element that m is the first element of the solution vector. Then, uh, okay, we'll copy it. So I need to take the solution uh, the solution one by one. That a x is the second one. A y will be the third one. No, not a y. We order them differently. The, the third is b x. Then it is c x. Then it is a y. Then b y. Then c y. And then Last one is C, C dash, or I will make it here. I, it will not accept the dash. I will make it C small d. And Cx is the fourth one. Ax is, Ay is number five. By is number six. Cy is number seven. And C dash is number eight. And also I will remove the semicolon here to show the results okay and now i will rerun and i have now all my results which are here so what i will have that the moment is almost minus three thousand uh two hundred and uh seventeen point nine AX, BX, CX are 62, AY, BY, and CY are 17.82. Let's check with the one here. Uh, yes. Okay, there is slight difference, but it's not too much. It is because for the theta 3, we took uh, 0 0.28, but it is, it's just because the approximation here. Now, for him, uh, for us, we have here, for the Excel 17.72, the AX all 62 for both Excel and MATLAB. Here 17.72 in MATLAB it is 17.82, and here it is 72. It's just one tenth difference. The moment here it is 3,216, and here it is uh, 3,200 almost 80. So it is. Also here, uh, a difference less than 0.2%. So we have solving by hand one by one, or here inverting the matrix, uh, it is the same. Now what we can do is to make uh, make MATLAB uh, working uh, only uh, self-dependent. And in this case, actually, I will keep the data, but I will solve theta 3 here. I will solve theta 3 here. So uh, I will solve theta 3. So I will position, I will make solving a position problem. Uh, so here I need to go back to our first analysis about the kinematic position analysis of the slider crank mechanism. And uh, okay, not this one here. And take this solution of of uh, the problem. But for that, I need to know what what is R one, what is R two, and what is R three. So I will go back now here. Uh, not here. This one to take the same one. I will need to take what is R one. And what is R3? 25 and 80 to complete here. So R1 will be 25 again in centimeter. So this is the data of the problem, the geometry of the slider crank mechanism. And R3 will be 80. Then I will solve theta 3 as we have 
done for the kinematic analysis. So it will be arc sine of R1 minus R2 sine theta 2 divided by R3. So uh, I will have theta 3, which is arc sine. Okay, it is a sine format lab. Uh, it is R1 minus R2 times R1 minus R2 sine theta 2 sine theta 2 okay and divided by R3 here we calculate theta 3 and once we have theta 3 okay we can uh, have phi 3 so now I will rerun it Okay, line 10, there was an error. What is it? So, 45. Yes, uh, I forgot to add one bracket here. Okay, so. And now we have exactly the same solution as I should. Okay, it is the exact solution as the Excel. Okay, because we didn't make any approximation for theta 3. We have 3216 for the moment, which is exactly the same as here as the Excel. And uh, for this one, it is 17.72. And it is here 17.72, exactly same solution. Now, we can do uh, the same with uh, uh, as in Excel, but here we need, it's, it's more the dev developed one. It is to, to solve for different values of theta 2. So in this case, I need to make a loop. So I will make four. So it means starting from theta 2 equal, let's say, 0. Uh, OK. Uh, or now I will make here theta 2 as a vector. So I will make all the values that I need for theta 2, OK? So it will start from 0, and it will go to until 360 degree. All the values that I need to make one full rotation. Now, if I don't precise, by default, you take it as if it is the step is one. I can change this step to, for example, to two. So here it goes to zero, two, four, and six, and to 360 degree. I need uh, to switch it to radian. So I will multiply by pi and divide by 180 degree. This is for uh, radian. Uh, okay, if it is here, uh, I'm going from 0 to uh, 360 degree by step of 2, I will have 181 steps. So, uh, I will uh, have like a subscript, so from J equal to uh, 1 181 this is all the steps we take this is I will make it theta to the vect or I don't need it I will keep it as it is uh, the only thing that okay I will take the elements here now if I will start for I need to end somewhere by uh, an end this is and what is inside from 4 to end he will repeat it 181 times and each one he will take a different value of theta 2 because I will tell him here to take the 
uh, element number j of theta 2. And if he will calculate, he will calculate, uh, I don't need this one, even I calculate for each one, I will lose it. But this is, for example, it will be when it will solve the element number j of each one. And I also can tell MATLAB to, to plot this one. So I'll make a figure, let's say the plot number one, and I will ask him to plot in the axis, it will be theta two, and in Y, it will be the moment, just to check with, with uh, okay, I will make a blue color, okay, uh, in the X, I will have, uh, theta 2, okay, uh, it will be in radian, okay, that doesn't matter now, and uh, switch it if you want, yes, I will make it in radian, and in Y, we will have uh, the moment, it will be here in Newton centimeter. Okay, uh, that's all. And I will run it for you. So here it will work for all angles. It will get, make the solution for the slider crank mechanism, the force analysis for all the angles. Okay. Uh, so now it's not only one angle, so it will calculate for, uh, it, it will take some time because it will repeat the solution for for each angle, for each input angle. And I will show you the solution here, how the moment will change with theta 2 from MATLAB. MATLAB means matrix solution, okay? Using the matrix equation and solving, inverting the matrix equation. And the Excel that we have uh, already solve it together, this one, and uh, here it is by substitution. We solve the equations by substitution, one by one. Okay, let's wait a little bit. So you see the solution here of MATLAB. It's MATLAB. It's the, the matrix equation, the matrix solution, and the one of. Uh, so if okay here, you see it. It's exactly the same solution except that in in Excel here I have a Newton meter and here I have Newton centimeter. But if I divide here by 100. I will have exactly the same solution here. 